Hello YouTube friends and welcome to my channel. My name is Deidre from Our Upcycled Life. I do lots of thrifting, upcycling, repurposing, and DIY content, and I love new crafting friends. So make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell for notification so you don't miss any great DIY content. Today's video is all about cleaning up all of those little odds and ends that I have collected along the way. Yard sales, garage sales, thrift stores, the dump, and I've collected all these little bits and pieces put them in a pile and I haven't done anything with them. Today I'm putting everything together and I'm turning them into either um, tiered bowls or tiered trays. And it's gonna be full of lots of inspiration. So if you have some of those little piles of stuff that you haven't completed yet, maybe I'll get you inspired by some of this stuff and we can work together and make that pile smaller. So lots of content in here, hang tight and uh, let's get started. Okay, my stash is getting way too big and I need to start cleaning up and finishing off those projects that I had good intentions for. This is just a little bit of it and I'm gonna turn these all into tiered trays, tiered bowls. Everything's gonna be tiered today. Um, so I hope some of these projects will inspire you to clean up some of your crap piles and make something beautiful. Everything that I'm using today either came from a thrift store, our yard sale, or from the dump wood pile. So this is all gonna be really affordable upcycles. This first one is gonna be really super easy. I just have this crystal dish that I picked up at the thrift store. I think it might've been 50 cents. The candle holder, I think it was from the dollar store, really affordable. And I'm just gonna glue the two together and it makes a really cute little pedestal bowl. Um, I am going to use my E6000. I've had really good luck with this, but I'm ready to start experimenting a little bit with different glues and adhesives. So if you've used something better than E6000 that has worked really well for you, let me know down in the comments what it is and I can try it out. I'm just gonna put some E6000 around the rim of the candlestick. This is the clear. And then I'm going to take a little bit from my hot glue gun so I can keep it in place so it doesn't move around. Just put a little tiny bit here and there so it sticks. And this is a really easy way to create a tiered bowl. And it just takes a plain, ordinary crystal bowl and kind of just kicks it up a notch. I'm just going to set that aside and let it dry. I love this little crystal bowl and candlesticks. It was so easy to make. So when you're at the thrift store, make sure you look out for those crystal bowls. This one's gonna be really simple too. This was an, a candle that I bought, I think at Winners or Home Sense. I used it up, I've washed it all out. And then I painted it with my homemade chalk paint. I put a Mod Podge reverse graphic transfer on the front of it, sealed it up with some poly acrylic sealer. And I just thought it was just plain it needed something more so I thought again I'll use one of the candlesticks from the dollar store and turn it into more of a pillar and then you can put another candle in it and it'll look really pretty same thing I'm going to put the e6000 around the rim and then a little bit of the hot glue to hold it in place and that's it for that one a little bit of hot glue Make sure it's centered right in the middle of your project. That's not going anywhere. I'm gonna set it aside and let it dry. Pray big, worry small. And this was just made from a candlestick from the dollar store and a candle that I had used up, painted with some of my homemade chalk paint and put a graphic on it. Another really easy one. I think I picked these up at Winners um, and I think this came from the thrift store. Yeah, for $1.49 and then it was 25% uh, off with the yellow tag. And I'm gonna turn it into a really kind of pedestal looking plant holder. I'm gonna take the middle candle holder out of that. We don't need that. I'm gonna scrape the bottom um, pieces off that are the little rubber pieces that we don't need anymore. Put some E6000 on the candle holder. And I like the contrast of the black and this plaster white. 
I think it's going to look really nice. A little bit of hot glue just to bond it in place so it doesn't move around. Now this one I can't turn upside down. Um, so I'm just going to try to center it the best I can so it doesn't move around. Oh, I should take the sticker off the bottom and make sure it's centered really well and then set it aside and let it dry. I didn't have to do anything to this. I left the candlestick as I bought it and the flower pot I just left so easy to put together and it looks so much better. Now I'm gonna do a flower pot with a candlestick. This was from Thrift Store, $2.99, and I think when I got it this day, it was 75% off. So that was a great deal for that. And I picked up this at Value Village, and I think it was uh, $1.99. So I'm gonna glue those two together. E6000. This rim is a little bit thinner, so I have to be a little bit more precise to make sure I get that glue on there and not make a mess. You don't want it dripping everywhere. And then a little bit of hot glue to keep it in place. Center it on your bowl so it's right in the center. Set it aside let it dry. I'm going to spray paint this with some white chalk paint and then I'm going to give it a coat over the whole thing with some of my sand paint. It's going to give it a really nice texture. So I'm going to take this out to my shed and get that spray painted. I've got a coat of the white spray paint on this and now I'm going to go over the outside and the base with some of my um, sand paint. A pink flower pot and a silver candlestick painted with some of my textured sand paint and it gives it a whole new life. I got two wooden bowls I picked up at Value Village and two candlesticks that I picked up at Bibles for Mission, $2.99 each. They were on the 75% off table and I'm going to turn in these into a matching set but I don't want to, I think I want to paint these with some black spray paint to make them black, make them a little bit more um, farmhouse modern looking so I'm going to take these out to my shed and spray paint them black and when they're dry I'll put these together. These candlesticks are all dry. I took them out. I gave them a couple coats of spray paint and this is such an easy little DIY that just takes two plain wooden bowls and two crystal plain um, candlesticks and turns them into really cute little raised bowls. Again same thing I'm going to use my E6000 and then a little bit of hot glue, glue them together. And then I think these would look really nice on a table in between a, um, a flower arrangement and you can fill it with fruit or candy or anything seasonal, but it's such an easy DIY and these would make great gifts too. And affordable, I'm gonna center them right in the middle of the bowls and then set them aside and let them dry. Two crystal candlesticks matching two bowls. Perfect way to upcycle these items. This bowl has been banged around in my shed for forever. I'm going to make it into a nice little tiered bowl with this spindle and I love this cute little wooden bowl I picked up probably at a yard sale this summer somewhere, had it tucked away, and I think it's going to look really good with this spindle. So I'm just going to cut these spindles down to size that will work with these, and then we'll get put them put together. I've cut these spindles to the size that I want, and I'm just going to glue them together. I love this yellow, and it's just a an acrylic paint, and I did my spindle painting technique to paint this and they come together painted so fast and you can use up all those little bits and pieces of paint that you have and all those different colors to do projects like this. Just going to center it right in the middle 
I love this wooden bowl. This actually might end up staying with me. I kind of like it. Okay, and then we'll put together the white bowl. This one I had previously had on something. I didn't like it, I took apart. So I'm redoing it. I'm gonna put the E6000 on it. I sanded this down too, so it will adhere really well on top of that other glue that was on there. You know, sometimes you put a project together and it's just not what you liked. And that's what happened with this. I took it apart, stuck it back in my shed, and then never did anything with it. But I think this is gonna look really cute with this little spindle on it. Okay, I'm gonna set them aside and let them dry. Two wooden bowls that I've had around forever, little pieces of spindles, and they make adorable little decor bowls. Next one, thrift store baskets. I have way too many baskets that I've collected and they make really cute tiered trays. I've got a little bit of a spindle. I like this color actually coordinating with these. Um, and again, I'm just gonna glue this and glue this one on the top and it's gonna make a really cute tiered tray and bowl that you can fill up with fruit or greenery or just stash anything in it. Little bit of the E6000, some hot glue to hold it in place. Center it right in the center and then hold it and let it dry. Once that hot glue is dried and it's secured, then I'm gonna put some E6000 on the top and then some hot glue and glue the top on. This always feels so good when I get all these little bits and pieces that I've had stored away and I haven't done anything with and I can clean them all up, but still make something really pretty gonna press that down and just hang on to it until that hot glue sets and it's all done. Don't overlook those wicker baskets, especially if you can find two that match because they make perfect tiered trays that you can fill with all kinds of stuff. Next project, I picked up these from the thrift store. They were $2.49, they were on the 75% off table. Um, so really cheap. I cut these out from some scrap wood that I had. I just used a coffee can lid trace the circle out and then cut them out with a jigsaw. I'm gonna take them out to my shed. I'm gonna stain them, put some polyacrylic sealer on them. And I think I'm also gonna spray paint these black so it'll look really nice all put together. I've got these candlesticks all painted. Now you can paint glass with chalk paint, but if you're in a hurry and you wanna finish projects um, fast, just use a paint and primer spray paint um, and it works really well and covers and has a really good bond to the glass, uh, especially if it's something that you're gonna be using every day on your kitchen table and you need to wipe it down, the spray paint works perfect. And I've got my rounds with a coat of stain um, and a coat of polyacrylic sealer, and I'm just gonna glue them on the top of these candlesticks, and that's it. A Little bit of E6000, the hot glue, and then center them in those wooden rounds. And if you have a access to a jigsaw, these are really easy to cut out. Um, if you don't have access to a jigsaw, you can always find rounds at the dollar store um, and they would work for this project too. And you can paint them up or you can stain them and they make fantastic risers. Okay, I got these all ready. I'm gonna center them right in the middle. I'm kind of eyeballing this. If you're not very good at that, you can always measure them out and find your center when you put them on. Sometimes I'm not very good at it and I mess it up and I don't have it in the center, but usually my eye is pretty good. And then we're gonna set them aside and let them dry. And I just had some battery operated candles that I picked up at the thrift store and added a little bit of greenery on top of those wooden discs and I think they look really great. I love these ones. While I was putting these other projects together, I also found this in my shed. 
You know I have way too much stuff when every time I go in my shed, I find something else that I can make into something tiered. I have this little glass vase. I think it probably came from the dollar store at one point. And I had this wicker basket and I thought it would be really cute if I could make it raised. Um, and I think what I'm gonna do with this, I'm gonna paint this with some of my sand paint, give it a textured look. And I think it'll look really nice with this uh, wicker basket. If I'm going to paint this with my sand paint, I'm going to take this out to my shed. I'm going to give it a coat of some white um, spray paint, and then I'm going to mix up some of my chalk paint and paint it, and I'll bring it back in and do that. This has just got a light coat of white spray paint on it, and it just makes the chalk paint, or actually the sand paint that I'm going to be using, adhere to it a lot better. I've mixed up my sand paint. If you haven't seen that tutorial, I'll put a link down below in the description because it creates a fantastic textured um, paint that is going to look really great on this basket, this tiered basket. And you can see the texture that it creates. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get a couple coats of the sand paint on. If I have a project that I wanna seal really well and then be able to kind of maybe wipe it down with a damp rag, I really like to use this engine enamel. You can find it at automotive stores on Amazon and it'll seal up your project and make it really durable. I'm gonna take this outside to my shed and give it a really good coat of this because this is gonna be made into a planter and I want it to um, stand up in case it has any water or anything that might drip on it. This is all dry from the sand paint. I put the coat of the enamel spray paint on it and I'm gonna attach my wicker basket onto it. I'm gonna use my E6000 and then I'm going to put on some hot glue to make sure that it adheres really well. And I think this is gonna make a fantastic plant stand. Going to make sure that I have it centered on properly. I'm going to turn it this way, centered right in the middle. We're going to let that dry and it'll be all ready tomorrow to put a plant in it. This might be one of my favorites just the wicker basket and that little vase that I painted with some sand paint and it turned into a beautiful plant stand. Next one, tiered bowls from the dollars or from the thrift store. And I love this spindle. I have way too many spindles and I love turning these spindles into tiered trays. I'm gonna take this out to my shed, measure it up what the size I want and then cut it with my um, chop saw. And then we'll put this one together. Okay, I've cut this to the size that I wanted on my chop saw. And I think I like the bigger part at the top. So same process again. I'm gonna put on some E6000, some hot glue to hold it in place. And I've never had any problem with these um, not staying together. If you have a brad nailer, you can always brad nail this a little bit, um, but I don't have one and I've never had any problem with these not adhering really well. So I'm gonna center that in the middle. It's gonna stay put. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of hot glue and then some E6000 on the top. Set the top bowl on. And then we are ready to let that one sit aside and dry really well. Get it centered. I love this color of blue on this spindle too. I did a tutorial on how to paint spindles really quickly. If you haven't seen that one, make sure you check it out because it will change the way you paint your spindles and you can get them done so quick and so fast and ready for your projects. That's it, we're gonna let it sit and dry. I actually changed my mind after I put this together before it dried. I didn't like the spindle that way, so I switched it around and I put it this way and I love it. So simple to put together. Two wooden bowls from the thrift store, a piece of an old spindle that I painted with some really pretty acrylic paint, 
and you put it together, I think this would make a fantastic fruit bowl in the kitchen. Next one, I always pick up these size tins. They make amazing tiered trays. Uh, I'm going to take this outside, give it a spray paint um, with some black. This was 79 cents at our thrift store and I think it was 50% off of that. So you can always find these really reasonably priced. And I'm gonna use this spindle. My tin container has uh, one coat of spray paint on it. And now I'm gonna go and paint it with a coat of chalk paint. And it's gonna give it kind of that rustic feel. I'm gonna give it a really good coat on both the top and the bottom. The chalk paint has completely dried on this tin. I'm just gonna take my sanding block. This is like a 120 grit. And I'm just gonna sand off to bring some of that black chalk paint um, peeking through like that. And I'm just gonna work away at that. I've got it all sanded and it's given it a real chippy kind of old antique look and the lid too. And I printed off a graphic, antiques. I think that's gonna look really cute along the bottom. I'm gonna do my Mod Podge reverse graphic transfer um, with this. And if you're interested, the graphics that I'm gonna be using in the next couple projects are in my Etsy store. If you wanna grab them, make sure you use the code SAVE50 and you get 50% off all the graphics in my store. So I'm gonna put this on the canister. I've left this sit overnight. It's all nice and dry now. I'm just gonna take a damp rag and dampen the paper and take and see the graphics come through and then we're gonna rub it off. I've got the graphic transfer all finished. I'm gonna give this a really good coat of polyacrylic sealer. This one's all ready to put together. I'd actually picked out that red spindle um, but once I started putting this together, it was just way too big. So I found these little ones, um, painted them with some yellow acrylic, and then sanded them and made them really rustic. And I think it's gonna look really great with that antique um, graphic on there. So I'm gonna glue this together. This one's all put together. I do find sometimes if you're using a smaller spindle, it maybe might not be as secure. If you find that, you can always, after it's um, all set, put a little tiny flathead screw in the bottom to keep it in place better. And you can do that to this piece too, underneath before you glue the two together. And that would secure it up really well. I'm gonna see how this holds up. And if it's strong enough, then I'll just leave it. And if not, then I'll add a couple little screws. And this one might be my favorite, made from a little tin container, 79 cents. And look how adorable that is. I love the farmhouse feel of it. I love that chippy spindle and the antiques graphic. It's perfect. I think I picked this up at a yard sale this summer, $2. And I knew what I was gonna do with it, but I never got around to it. So today's the day. I'm gonna take this out. I'm gonna give it a light coat of some black spray paint. And then I think I'm going to paint it with some white chalk paint put a fun graphic on it, make it into a tiered tray or a tiered bowl. Um, and uh, I think it'll look really cute. And I think I'm gonna use this green spindle to make it um, tiered. So I'm gonna take that out too and cut it to the size that I want. This container is all dry. I just put a light coat of the black spray paint on and now I'm gonna paint it with a couple coats of my homemade white chalk paint. The chalk paint has completely dried on this and I'm gonna sand it so I can expose some of the dark black and make it look more uh, vintage and old. I've got everything all sanded and I'm going to do my homemade napkin decoupage on this. This is really simple. I'll put the uh, link in the description down below of how you can custom make your own napkins. And I'm gonna use the water technique to decoupage onto this. You just need a plastic sleeve, some Mod Podge, 
um, and a little bit of water, and it's really easy to do. I'm gonna get started. This decoupage napkin is all dry and I'm going to give this all a coat of the polyacrylic sealer in satin so it's sealed up really nice if we have it in the kitchen and it needs to be wiped down. Now to glue these spindles in, I'm just going to use some E6000, some hot glue so it'll hold it in place and then I'm going to put a little piece that I've got for the top that I found that matches for the tiered tray or bowl. Let's just get this centered right in the middle. Perfect. And then I found this little piece and it matches really well. I'm gonna put that in the um, lid, let it dry, and then I'm gonna glue it together, the top and the bottom. I think this turned out adorable. I love it. You can put some greenery in the bottom and then the top you can put little knickknacks, little shelf sitters. I think it's cute. And it was so easy from a yard sale, $2 container and lid. Well, there you have all my projects from all the little bits and pieces I've collected and had out here in my shed that I've put together into really cute tiered bowls or tiered trays, and I love them all. It always feels really good when you can clean up all of those little projects and get everything all done. Let me know down in the comments which one's your favorite one. And if you like this video, I'm sure you'll really love this one. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and we'll see you in the next video.